Ooh. There he is. There's the man. Hello. There's Hello. the man right there. How you doing, big fella? Good, good. How you doing? I'm Jackie Slater, and my friend over there is Vince Ferragamo. We played here with the Rams for a long time. Wore the colors that you're wearing, actually, just, just in the NFC. And mm -hmm. I just want to welcome you to Los Angeles, man. And uh, it's good to see you. Good to have you on. Yes, sir. I appreciate you having me on. I, I appreciate you guys, man. Yeah, well, you know, thanks so much. Thanks so much for being on on point with Jackie and I. So it's great. Jackie's an offensive lineman just like you, Jamari. So I'll let him take off. And he's got a couple of questions for you. Sounds good. Yeah, you know, Jamari, I, I can remember 1976 when I got drafted in the third round. I came here, didn't play my first year. My second year, because of the injury, they threw me in the lineup, and I played <laughs> one game <laughs> before they snatched me out. <laughs> you know, man, you have just been a, a marvel to watch. I have I commend Telesco and the um, head coach for drafting you, man. You, you're a quality draft pick, 195th overall, and then you come to El Big City and everything, and then now you're starting and, and kicking down the doors. Did you did you ever expect that you would be playing and called upon this much this early? Uh, I mean, I never, uh, I guess, I never expected it, but I always wanted to be ready for it. Um, I, I trained every day. I took every rep um, leading up to this moment, even though it was at guard, mostly during training camp. Uh, I took every rep seriously, even, even and that just kind of speaks to, you know, what I tried to do at the University of Georgia, just taking those reps seriously so that they would translate if I ever needed them. And I ended up starting my career needing them. So absolutely. And, and the guy that you're replacing is a, is a legitimate, uh, you know, star in this league. He established that a year ago as a rookie. And then I don't think anyone expected a, a, a guard tackle. I was, by the way, I was drafted as a guard tackle and I played all of my career as a starting tackle. So don't be surprised with the way you're playing this position right now, the most critical position on the offensive line, you might be tagged an offensive tackle from this point on. How would you feel about that? Uh, I mean, I, I'm always proud of myself on being a person that the team need whatever, whatever um, position the team needed me to be able to play. I was proud of myself on being able to play all five positions. So I um, mean, that was, that started when I was. I just like being able to win. I like winning. So it didn't. It doesn't matter to me where it, where I'm where I'm needed, where they want to put me at. I will learn a position. I take the reps, take it day by day, and uh, eventually I, I I want to be able to be in a place to be able to help the team there. So if it's right guard, center, left tackle, right, I just want to be able to help the team. Wow, that that kind of versatility is valuable, huh, Vince? Hey, Jackie, I'm telling you what, I, I love the versatil versatility of this young man right here, J Jamari, because you can play guard, you can play tackle as a quarterback, you know, especially at that left tackle spot, that's the blind side of the quarterback. And uh, I think for you to accomplish the things you've done uh, in your rookie season is, is remarkable. And uh, best of luck to you guys going to the playoffs. My only question for you is the team has gained a lot of spark. What, what How is that? come to be because I've been a long time Charger fan since the Air Coriel days with with Dan Fouts and and, and uh, Winslow and those guys and now the Chargers are back in style again and you guys are you guys are playing at your best football right now this is the best time to be playing what gave you the spark is everybody healthy now is it the way Brandon Staley says hey I like this toughness of my team mm -hmm. uh, is it the play calling is it the versatility what what do you put where do you put this and how do you put it in perspective? Uh, I think it, it starts with our culture. It starts with how we want to do things, how we try to do things. We call it our way, you know, just doing things the right way every single day, having a discipline, doing things physically. Um, we break it down to the bare bones so that it, it doesn't get lost in translation, no matter if it's a playoff game, no matter if we were playing 49ers on Monday night. Like, it's, it's, it's just football. It's football. It's blocking, tackling, you know, making passes, com uh, completing passes, reflective. Def like, Cole Staley keeps it very simple. Um, so that's a part, that's one piece of the puzzle. And, you know, mo I, we all know that football is momentum game. And right now, momentum swinging our way. So we're doing everything that we can to keep it going that way, taking uh, every rep seriously, taking every day seriously. And then I think for us, I mean, one big part of football that people don't talk about is the brotherhood and all. Like having a team that's connected, having a team that understands each other, understands where he's going to be on this route. How is he going to pick up this protection? What's the center going to call? I mean, I think we're kind of finding that rhythm as guys get healthy. I know you mentioned that as well. So. Um, I think that's been huge for our football team. We're getting healthy at the right time. So, I mean, we, we're a dangerous team moving forward. Well, I like what you said about closeness because we were a team that was really close. We went to the Super Bowl. So stay close Absolutely. to your fellow guys. And, and me and Jack are still buddies today. But Jackie's got probably more stuff to ask you than I do. But 
Yeah. And he likes to talk a lot, so let him let him go on at this point. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know, it's, it, Jamari, it's not too often. You, this is a unique situation as I see it because how many people are going to end up trusting the blind side uh, protection with a rookie who was drafted as late as you were? Right. Now, the way I see it, it, it has to have had something to do with your past exposure. You played in big time a big time conference in this country. Uh, Alabama dealing with all of these big time talents. You practice against great guys. You got good players you're playing against right now. Leo Mack and Bosa in practice. So that all of that competition has to be critical in your development, wouldn't you say? I definitely would agree with that. I mean, I know for me, just when I when I looked at the way that we practiced, the way that we were uh, competing against each other at the University of Georgia, I know that was big for me. Um, Because all the dudes do is walking in the door with, like, five-star, like, NFL body type, the DL, wow. 6'6", 260. Like, these dudes were, were built like that coming in the door. So, um, when you when you get those guys, these, these first-round guys, we had, what, like, five, I think, first-rounders on defense last year. I practiced against them every day. So, and it was physical. It wasn't just like we were out there walking through. Like, it was physical every day because that's how Coach Smart wanted it. And I know doing that day in and day out definitely helped me trans transition better to the NFL as far as um, not – the moment not being too big is every day not being too big. And I just know I know that what that work looks like, um, and I can I can be confident in that. Hey Jamari, yeah. if, if, if I ahead, was man. Justin Herbert, Jackie, I would feel very confident to have Jamari at my left tackle right mm -hmm. now. I'm telling you what, man, keep up this good work. And Jackie, you know this guy's a former Bulldog. Hey, he won the national championship last year, so he's at, he's been on the big stage before. Absolutely. Jamari, do it again, man. What are the are the Bulldogs going to – is Georgia going to beat TCU in this big game coming up oh, on Monday night? I have full confidence in them. I know I know <laughs> Coach Smart's going to get them right. I know that 41 yeah. points from Ohio State won't stand good with him, so I know that he's he's riding them, riding them for that. So I know they, – they, they, I think they'll be good. I think it'll be a good showing. Uh, they played well in California before, so I'm, I'm going to go with history and I'm going to say we're going to do it again. That's awesome. All right, Jamari, you know, they told us, they said, hey, we only got 10 minutes, Jackie. You know, that yeah. I think if Vince had called the PR director at the Chargers <laughs> and asked for this. I interview, might have been squeezed a few more minutes. <laughs> they would have they would have given them an extra 10 minutes. But it's this awesome. is the way I, this is the way I want to wrap this up, Jamari. You see, I'm gonna put on this oh, hat. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh you see the hat, that hat, Jamari? Jamari? Oh, yeah, uh, Jamari, those are the colors that you are wearing right there. You see that? Right. And those are the letters that you are representing that's sitting right behind you. Yeah. And this is what I want you to know. This is what you this is what you're playing for right here. Sure. Super Bowl 57 championship. You got the quarterback to do it. I love the play calling by Coach Lombardi. Your offensive line coach is led by uh, uh Corey. I think he's doing a fantastic job. Hope Pip Pippin's knee is gonna be all right. And yeah. you, I am not worried about anything coming over there. I want to wish you the very best. Good luck to you, and may you wear this cap next year with Super Bowl 57 on it. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot for joining us, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. It's a blessing to be able to talk to you guys. Thank you for having me on. I look forward to meeting you. Yes, sir.